Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can do a lateral flow test at home with the self-test kits that we're going to give you in school. So inside the kit, you're going to find seven of the self-test kits, seven of these little test tubes, seven of the extraction buffer sachets, that's got liquid in, seven of the disposable sampling swabs, and seven of these bags to dispose of everything after you've used them. So I'm gonna make sure I've got a flat surface and lots of space to put everything out in front of me and I've washed my hands for 20 seconds. And the first thing I'm gonna take is the extraction fluid and the test tube. So you might wanna ask somebody to help you with this because if you don't have a device like this that you can pop your test tubes in, you're gonna need somebody to hold it while you do the, the test. So, you're gonna take your extraction fluid, extraction fluid, and you're gonna undo the top, and you're gonna empty the contents into this test tube. Once everything's in, you're gonna dispose of this in the plastic bag. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the test out of the sachet and place it to one side. This is what the test looks like. And I'm just going to dispose of the bag in a bin. You're then going to take your sampling swab and make sure you open it at the end that it says open. And then you'll take it out making sure that you don't touch the cotton bud end because that is the end that is going to go at the back of your throat. So I'm just going to pop this in the bin and you're going to swab this at the back of your throat for 10 seconds either side. You will have done this in school. So really wide mouth, avoiding your tongue, avoiding your teeth, the side of your, your cheeks. You're aiming for your tonsils. So you'll do your right tonsil for 10 seconds and then you'll do your left tonsil for 10 seconds. The swab then goes up one nostril for 10 seconds. And after you've done that, you'll take your little test tube and you're gonna pop the cotton wool end of the swab into the test tube. And you're just gonna swirl it around in there, like so. And then you can squeeze the bottom of the test tube, making sure that the liquid is going right up the cotton wool. So you want it in there for about 15 seconds. You're then going to give someone the test tube or pop it into a device where it can stand up and put the swab into the plastic bag. Then you'll take your test tube and you're gonna pop the top on so it's nice and secure. And then you're gonna pop two, two drops of the liquid into this section here where it says S. So two drops into there. Make sure you've got a flat surface and you're putting two drops in. One, two. And you don't want to get air bubbles. You just want a nice, clear two Once drops. Once you've placed two drops of the solution in this section here, make a note of the time and write it on the top of the test using a Sharpie pen or a marker. You will then wait for 30 minutes before processing the results. After 30 minutes, this is what a negative test should look like. You've got one line on the C. If your test is positive, you'll have two lines, one next to the C and one next to the T. Even if it's a faint line, this shows the test is positive. So you have to re report the result to the NHS. So the top is a negative result, that's what we can see on this test here. And the bottom is a positive result. That's two lines for a positive result, one line for a negative result. Once you've got your negative or positive result, you're going to get your phone, your tablet or your laptop and you're going to go to www.gov forward slash report slash COVID-19 slash result. Okay. So, you'll go to start now.
You reporting for yourself. And you can continue without an account. Um, you are a school, college or other education provider. And then the name of your school, you're going to type in Castleview Enterprise Academy. You live in UK. When did you take the test? Today. Then the next thing, when it says test strip ID number, this is your test strip ID number. So you'll scan your test strip barcode, allow your um, camera to access it. You'll scan that over. And then that'll have gone through. There's the number on there. And you press continue and you continue to enter your personal details. Once you've entered your personal details, you'll come up to what is the result. And you will put on what the result is, whether it's positive, negative or invalid. Now, if you get an invalid result, it will look like that. So there'll be one line or no lines, one line on the T or no lines. That is a void result. So you will put in positive, negative or invalid. Mine was negative. Report the result. Check your answers. And report your result. Then it'll ask for a security check. And then you will get a text saying that your result is negative, positive or void. So finally, once you've uploaded your results to the government website, you will get a text with your results on saying that you're positive or negative. Now, if you are positive, you must let the school know and you will isolate at home for 10 days along with the rest of your household. Now, we are advising that you do these tests twice a week on a Sunday and a Wednesday. If you are negative, you come to school as normal and carry on normal life. Thank you.